Welcome to Saudi Arabia News Update with Syed Dawood. News Live, today we will bring you some important news from Saudi Arabia. How many expats are there in Saudi Arabia 2023? A rundown on number of foreign residents, nationalities in Saudi Arabia. The number of foreign residents in Saudi Arabia reached 13.38 million, representing 41.6% of the total population of 32.2 million, according to the 2022 census. Several Saudi regions to witness rain from Tuesday to Saturday. Riyadh, the National Center of Meteorology, NCM, announced on Monday that moderate to heavy rain will witness several regions of Saudi Arabia from Tuesday to Saturday, August 19, giving a respite from the soaring temperatures during the summer season. And next news update belong to Isha's. Saudis not required Isha's to enter Europe. Jeddah, Saudi citizens are not required to obtain the European Travel Information and Authorization, Isha's, for entering the Schengen area of Europe. Saudis are required only a Schengen visa to enter Europe, Okes slash Saudi Gazette has learned from well-informed European sources based in Brussels, the headquarters of the European Union. Isha's is an electronic visa waiver due to be introduced in Europe effective from the year 2024. This is a completely electronic system that allows and keeps track of visitors from countries who do not need a visa to enter the Schengen zone. Supreme Court closes Haram Crane crash case with upholding Court of Appeals verdict. Saudi Arabia's Supreme Court has upheld the verdict of the Mecca Criminal Court of Appeal issued in February this year to slap fines amounting to SR 20 million on Saudi bin Laden Group after conviction of its negligence and violation of safety rules in the Mecca Grand Mosque crane crash case. Okes slash Saudi Gazette has learned from well-informed sources that the court also convicted eight directors, heads of departments, executives, and engineers with awarding three years in prison and fines. It has acquitted three engineers and supervisors of the charges and suspended the trial of another defendant following his death. The court also recommended that some entities to be placed under criminal liability due to their dereliction of duty. Al Hogale holds meetings with several leaders of Chinese companies, the Minister of Municipal, Rural Affairs, and Housing Majid bin Abdullah Al Hogale convened Monday in Beijing with key leaders from Chinese housing infrastructure companies. This meeting is part of his official visit to China, aimed at fostering collaboration prospects in infrastructure, urban development, housing, real estate development, and financing. The session was attended by the presence of the Kingdom's ambassador to China, Abdul Rahman bin Ahmed Al Harbi. During his meeting with SciTech Group and SciTech Construction, Al Hogale deliberated over plans to establish and construct an industrial complex in accordance with the highest precasting technology standards. Nimer agrees to sign with Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia, says report. The leading French sports daily Le Quipe confirmed on Sunday that Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal, the runner up of the Arab Football Club's championship, has reached an agreement with Nimer, the Brazilian international striker of Paris Saint Germain, PSG. The newspaper said in a report on its website that the PSG and Brazil forward will receive a total of 160 million euros, 175 million dollars, over two seasons. Neymar's current contract with PSG runs until 2025. It remains for PSG, who want to get rid of the striker, and the Saudi Arabian team to agree on the terms of the transfer, which could be finalized in the coming days. According to the French Daily, the Parisian club have already received an initial offer and is currently in negotiations. Now time to leave I will come back soon to bring you some new update bye bye.